Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vought RV. Really looking forward to showing you a 2022 Jayco Eagle 317 RLOK. This is a rear living room floor plan with a nice outdoor kitchen. We have three really cool things that I especially like about this unit. I want to point those out to you first and then we'll get on with our walk around. So let's get started. Number one, we have opposing slides in the living room, which creates a really spacious living area. Number two, we have a bedroom slide, something that you get in an Eagle, but you won't get in an Eagle HT. And number three, last but not least, is all of this awning coverage on the patio side. We have 17 feet of awning here, 10 feet on the slide for a total of, yes, 27 feet of awning. Okay, let's have a look on the outside of this 317 RLOK. One thing I want to point out here at Vought is we tend to option our units up a little more than other dealers do. If there's an option available, chances are we order it, whether it's upgrading air conditioner units, ordering cameras, both side cameras and backup cameras, or gen prepping it like we have on this one. If I open up this door, I can see that we have a propane bottle here, which means it's been gen prep. We can add a generator for you before you take delivery, or you could have that done later at your discretion. Always like to show off the cavernous storage space under all of Jayco's fifth wheels. Look how nice and neat and clean this storage space is. It's all trimmed out, nice open area. We have motion sensor light here, so when your hands are full, and they usually are when you're loading and unloading things, that light will pop on for you. Have cable connection here. If you want to put a television out here, right there makes it easy. And of course, we have our power access there. Notice this little platform here. It's a platform that will go in what Jayco calls a J port that will enable you to have a blackstone griddle out here on the patio side. And I'll show you where that goes in just a second. Got a power outlet right here. So if you want to have lights on your awning, you've got power accessible right here. Or maybe you've got a scooter, something you want to charge overnight or your golf cart, you know, power easily accessible. Now, obviously if you put a generator in this guy, it's gonna go right in here. We're gen prepped, right? There's the pigtail waiting for the generator to be dropped in. And again, if you don't put a generator in, you've just gained yourself all of this extra storage area. Battery tray here, ready to receive the batteries, which we'll install for you before you take delivery. So when you do take delivery here at Vought, we'll prep it fully for you, meaning we're gonna fill up the propane for you, install the batteries for you, wash it, detail it and have a technician go through everything with you. We don't charge extra for that here at this dealership. I was first a customer at this store before I worked here and I appreciated the fact that Vought doesn't tag on fees at the end. The price that you see in our units and the price that we settle on for you is the price you're going to pay. We're not going to add freight on the end or we're not going to add prep at the end. It's already included so you know what you're paying. Here's the opposite side of that nice pass-through storage area. Notice up here to the left we have auto level uh, accessibility to handle the auto leveling. Now you can also do that from the panel on the inside and you can do it from your phone. So lots of options in terms of controlling the auto leveling. It's a battery disconnect right there. Pop that battery off during periods of storage so you're not draining the battery. Jayco's famous for how clean their utility bay is. They do a great job of labeling all the connections to take the mystery out of it for you. So whether you're sanitizing, filling the tank, or dry camping, meaning you're off camping where you don't have hookups, just follow the color codes and, 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 uh, and, and set these the way that it indicates on the sticker and you'll be good to go. Nicely labeled gray tank valves and black tank valves here. Notice all of the connections come up right through this and this door closes so this all remains in a fully climate controlled compartment. When that furnace cycles on in the winter time, you're keeping everything above freezing down below. Jayco tests these units between 0 degrees and 100 degrees to confirm that it stays thawed out in the winter down here and comfortable in the summer up there. They tested that zero to 100 degrees for multiple days in a row to make sure that you stay comfortable out at your campsite. Access to the water heater here, we have detachable 50 amp power cord, 
I like what they've done here is uh, you can see that we have power that's lighted up green. So if you're just walking by this thing, you know that now we're, our breaker is on and we're receiving power to the coach. Looks like a storage door, but actually it's access to the back of your residential refrigerator. So if you need to get in here to do maintenance things and so on, you can access it from this side and not have to pull it out from the inside. Really handy. Vacuum bonded uh, sidewalls on all Jayco fifth wheels. These aren't pinch rolled fiberglass walls. Basically this is a sandwich and it's vacuum bonded. I like to describe it as a giant food saver for an RV wall. 144 tons of vacuum for 16 minutes. Well, what does that mean for you? It just means that this wall is not gonna become delaminated over time. Ever since jayco has been doing this, we just don't see delamination problems with Jayco products. Love that. Obviously, we have access to the roof, the rear ladder. This is something new that's now standard moving forward as a towing package. So we have a hitch back here, so you can have a 3,000 pound tow rating here for an ATV, golf cart, perhaps a small boat. A lot of people are gonna use this to add a little cargo carrying tray back here. Maybe some firewood or a smoker or a grill or what have you. Nice to have it there if you need it. Now here's that J port that I was telling you about. It looks like a little hitch receiver. So that platform simply slides in here and then you have your quick LP connect underneath so that you can hook up a, uh, a Blackstone griddle or a griddle of your choice or a grill of your choice and have it right here, right next to the outdoor kitchen area. So have a nice, nicely sized drink refrigerator and a utility utensil drawer. And notice we have lots of power outlets. We have power outlet there, power outlet here, 12 volt here, as well as coax cable so that if you want to have a television out here, that's the obvious place to put it. And we can charge our gadgets right here too with USB charging ports. Jayco branded bottle opener, you gotta love that. So again, we're all under this part of the awning on the outdoor kitchen area. 10 feet here, 17 feet there. So I always like to refer this as the, as the uh, fun side of the camper, right? So we have our picnic table and this is where the, all the action is. Lots of coverage out here for that. We have a courtesy light, which won't really show up uh, during the daylight here, but there's a blue light under here that shines underneath these steps and makes it really nice and safe for entering and exiting the coach. I don't know how Jayco decides when to put these on, but I'm glad when they do. This isn't something we order. Some units with four steps like this will come with this extra grab bar. Even if you don't have knee or hip problems, this is really nice to be able to grab a hold of here and here to enter and exit the coach. It's just a nice safety feature. A lot of folks say, well, what happens when you travel? You just lift the whole thing in like so. That's the travel position and the door closes on it. These legs are adjustable up here. Also, you don't have to worry, even if you're not super strong, this thing's not going to come crashing down on you. It's a zero gravity, see? So easy to deploy and easy to stow away. Really like that. Let's go inside and have a look on the inside, shall we? Okay, now we're on the inside of this 317 RL OK, and like I alluded to before, I love opposing slides. That for my wife and I, that was one of our check boxes we wanted was opposing slides. Anytime that happens, you get all of this space in your living area. So we're pushing out that way, pushing out this way. I love the TV viewing angle of these two recliners. They're directly across from the TV and the fireplace. They're recliners, so just pull up on this tab, just like that, and I'm right across from the TV. I'm not having to tilt my head sideways to look at the other end of the coach for the TV. It's right across there. Notice we have these little look like remote control things. We have ceiling lights, pendant, dinette, and all exterior lights. So if I'm sitting here and I forgot to turn the lights off outside or on, I can do it right there without having to get up. Don't want to have to get up any more than I have to. USB charging port for your phones and other gadgets. 
right here handy next to the recliners. Now this sofa across the back converts into a bed, a nice size bed, um, and it's actually quite comfortable. It takes me about two minutes. Um, we've done this in a lot of videos. I'll skip that on this one, but it's super easy to do. Notice we have roller shades all the way around. You might notice if you've been shopping Eagles for a while that prior to 2022, these were the pleated shades. Jayco has now updated these to soft close roller shades. How nice is that? They're total blackout shades and very classy. I consider it an upgrade. We have smoked glass insert in the cabinets over here. So blankets and games and things that you don't need as much. Be a perfect place to store those kinds of things. Notice there's no carpet anywhere up here. There's no carpet in the slide out no carpet under the sink. There's no fabric even on the valances up here. So um, hypoallergenic, you know, it's clean. It stays clean. It doesn't pick up odors because there's no carpet to, to, to uh, create problems that way. Notice we have a little drink spigot right here. This is a fresh water system. There's a five gallon water jug that's under the island and it's plumbed to this right here. So you're cooking and drinking this water, not RV park water, which is sometimes suspect. <laughs> okay. Now, nice island here with our double basin stainless steel sink. We have a charging port here. Just pull this straight up. Again, USB and household current right here. So your blender, coffee maker, and what have you right here, easy to access have a drawer and more storage on this side. I always brag about Jayco's cabinet build because solid maple faces on all of these 75 pound drawer glides, ball bearing drawer glides. Uh, it's something Jayco's uh, well known for. So again, full extension drawer glides, lots of storage right where you need it. And up here, we have solid maple cabinets. So solid maple instead of particle board with tape on it to make it look like real wood, it's real wood. Three burner Furion cooktop, pop this back and it becomes your backsplash. We have a backlighted control panel for your burners and your oven. And then some additional storage under here. Ah, look what I spy. We have a little strainer that will pop in here and a cutting board right next to it. So that's nice. If you need to put something on your top here that's heat sensitive, put it on there. You can put it in here for a strainer for drying items after you wash them. Of course, a nice uh, bamboo cutting board. Now, beautiful refrigerator. This is a Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Boom, 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 boom. Now, why is there four doors like this? Note that when this slide comes in, it's gonna to come to about right here. That means that three quarters of this is gonna remain accessible even with the slide in. So if you stop en route to your destination on a trip, you can open up these top two and this bottom freezer compartment and have access to most of your refrigerator without even having to slide the uh, slide out, out like that. Now, nice pantry over here, and look, someone put little cheat notes for me. I do this, and I do it for customers that come look at these. Again, we're in the 22 Eagle 317 RL OK. Well, talked about our opposing slides and the bedroom slide and our two awnings. Sleeps four, so you got two sleeping positions, obviously, in our bed up front and two back here. You don't have to tell people that it sleeps two more. That's entirely up to you. But if you have some friends that you want to spend the night with you, perfect place for them. Open this up and notice the light comes on. Motion sensor light. These are all adjustable shelves, so you can move them as needed to suit your needs. And even more storage up here. I'm six feet tall and I can just reach it, so stuff that you don't need quite as often. I kind of like that area above the cabinetry up there. When you're, if you're parked for a while, say you're in South Texas or Florida for the winter, and put some decorations up there, what have you, make it look a little more homey. Perfect place to do it. All Jayco products have an unmatched two plus three year warranty. That's an industry leading warranty. Three years structural, two years limited, which covers 
pretty much all the components on board. So two full camping seasons. Take this thing out, put it through its paces in, uh, in month 18. If you have an issue, you have the, the satisfaction of knowing that you're still covered under warranty. This is kind of a neat thing. You can pop this up and get it out of the way and hang clothes in here and have like a, a coat closet or pop this down and have a shelf. Um, flexible storage. And then we have some more storage hooks. Storage up here on top as well with our smoked glass inserts. Now, right behind Brian here, I want to point out this table. Um, I like that you can pull this out just like that and add more space to have four people sitting around here. I don't usually show these chairs because they're usually hiding under the bed up front, but you'll always get two additional chairs that are folding chairs. Note they're upholstered just like these. These have covers on them. They're simply there to keep these things from bumping together and scratching during travel. These are upholstered just alike. There's another one under the bed up front. So we can comfortably seat four people around this table. Fold it back up, toss it under the bed up front, tuck this back away, and you're good for travel. There's also a little secret storage under here, too, that you can put games and, and your bills, <laughs> things like that. USB charging port right behind here, and again, another one of these little gadgets, easily accessible. Now up here in the hallway, we have our BM Pro system. This is where you control everything on this unit. Um, you can control lighting, thermostat, the slides, the jacks, everything. Um, go to home here and it shows you all of the things that you can control. Put this BM Pro app on your phone and you can control everything that you can control here on your phone as well. Ceiling fan switch right here. Pop that on and our ceiling fan comes on in the back. This is a thermistor. It's a little temperature sensor that's sensing the temperature right here. There'll be one in the bedroom. You'll see these at different places around the coach and sometimes outside the coach too, sampling the air temperature. Really like the nice styled bathroom on these. We have a one piece impervious to moisture countertop. So nice undermount sink with this brushed black, matte black finish on, on, on the fixtures and a nicely sized medicine cabinet, kind of place for your toothbrush and so on, and the backlighting behind here, which is real nice. So even when the main lights are off in here, you've got that nice backlighting. Very nice. Showers sometimes in smaller RVs and even some fifth wheels aren't that big, but I'm six feet tall and I have plenty of room to maneuver in here. Again, uh, Jayco's gone with this matte black fixture, and uh, this isn't real tile, but it looks nice. It's, it's a nice uh, shower surround and a bench over here so you can sit down, prop your leg up, shave your legs and that kind of thing, if you do that kind of thing. Porcelain toilet here, so it's not a plastic toilet, it's porcelain toilet, which makes it easier to keep clean and so on. And underneath the sink, we have storage uh, both on the floor and a shelf here. Right behind me, I have additional storage, which I sometimes forget to point out. So all goes all the way to the wall. So linens, washcloths, and perhaps extra clothing and those kinds of things. If it were me, I'd probably put clear plastic tubs so I can grab them, pull them out as you need them. All right, let's go up front and look in the bedroom area. We ordered this one with a king bed. King bed optional on, on many eagles. Notice again that the king bed headboard basically is in a slide. So that goes out and it gives us a lot more space at the foot end of the bed. I got plenty of room to maneuver on either side, even though it's a king bed, for both accessing the bed and making the bed. A lot of times when you get into a king bed floor plan on, on any travel trailer, you have very tight space. There's not a lot of space here, but I got plenty of space to move around on either side of the bed. Um, that's important. Again, have another one of these guys right at your fingertips for where you need it. Now, if you want to add a washer and dryer, this is washer dryer prepped. These shelves would come out and your combo washer and dryer would slide right in here. So it'll be a combination washer slash dryer. That's something we can install for you if you're interested. 
Either way, you'll have this storage up on top. And I don't know if you noticed when I opened this door, the light popped on. <laughs> really one of my favorite things in recent memory are motion sensor lights everywhere on RVs. I've always got my hands full, whether it's going into the closet and especially outside, packing, unpacking. The last thing I want to do is put my load of stuff down and fidget around for the light switch. It pops on when I need it to. So clothes hanger here, nice cubby holes in the back for shoes and whatnot or folded clothes. You can slide this back and access the other side. We have more shelves along here as well. So lots of storage space. So if you're thinking about full timing, you can do that. Speaking of which, Jayco warrants their fifth wheels for full time use. Not all manufacturers will do that. In fact, few do. Not sure that any do other than Jayco, but I know Jayco does and they put it in writing. So if you're thinking about full timing, Jayco's extensive warranty will remain intact. Now you may say, well, I'm not gonna full time, doesn't affect me. Well, it just speaks to the quality of a Jayco warranty. Jayco has that much confidence that even though you're in this all the time, they're gonna keep that two year, two plus three warranty intact. Nice storage here at the foot of the bed. Again, our full extension drawer glides, all kinds of storage. Again, I've told you this before, but this is my drawer and my wife gets all the rest of this. And that way we stay married and happy. Okay, yeah, and on the Eagle, we have a TV up here, always insignia brand appliances and television. Hey, before we wrap up, I wanna point out a couple neat things here. We have an Amazon Fire TV. This is an insignia brand, but this is a smart TV right out of the box. So you don't have to put a Roku or anything on this to make it a smart TV. You can mirror your phone content, super easy to stream content right on this smart TV out of the box. Another thing that Jayco's doing in 2022 forward is JBL Electronics. This is a bona fide sound system. I'm a music lover and I appreciate the fact that they're putting real speakers both here and out on the patio and a bona fide sound system. Really, really like that. Of course, we have a fireplace under here. This is a fancy space heater, guys. All right. A lot of people kind of chuckle when you say fireplace in an RV. It's a space heater. You don't even have to look at this if you don't want to. You can just have the heat on, but it is aesthetically nice. I'm going to turn it off because we don't need any heat in here, but that'll knock the chill off this unit on a cool fall or even winter day. Also up on top here, Jayco's doing this. There's already an HDMI cable plugged into the back of this TV, so if you want to add a DVD player or another component, super easy to do. Feature loaded, love to show this to you in person. Give us a call here at Vaud RV. We'll get you hooked up with one of our sales professionals. We all have fun doing this. I hope you can tell. We think that shopping for an RV should be as fun as using an RV. If you come to Vaud, we're not a high pressure situation here. We wanna have fun. We wanna help you find the RV that's right for you. And if we do that, we're happy and you will be too. Again, my name's Mike. Thanks for joining me. Check back here again. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.